Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License. It's Sunday. We're going to be doing some more of our Final Fantasy X 2 New Game Plus. Uh, we're almost at the end of this second run. I kind of can't believe it. Uh, it's gone by really fast. Uh, the accessories and stuff like really make the New Game Plus go quick. Plus we're not actually trying to do everything. By the way, how are you, Koneko? I see you there with the first. I hope you're having an absolutely lovely Sunday. Um, I am having a really lovely Sunday. I did a new manicure. My my thumbnail was still like super jacked and broken. So I like I filed them all like super down. So I think this will be the last like super file I have to do, and then I can start growing them again. I hope, but winter, winter is a hard time <laughs> to grow nails. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. All right. Let me get the game loaded. I've got like top coat over the top of my fingers because of having the nails so short. Come on, Steam, you can do it. Why aren't you loading the game? Oh, there you go. Okay. It was just taking it a moment. Okay, make sure y'all can see. Okay, so this time might look a little funny <laughs> and they've all got Lady Luck dress spheres on instead of um, the, the ones that we were wearing before, the trainer ones. Okay, that is because after stream yesterday, um, I went and did my gill farm because the gill farm was going to be the same way that I did it last time. So there was just no reason to show it on stream. So just to make sure that it's clear for you guys, if you go into the creature uh, network here and you do, um, yeah, the themed arena and you play this Grand Cup hard. What it unlocks is the No Mercy. And if you go into the Battle Simulator and you do, where are you? There, No Mercy right here. You can fight a Machina Panzer. And you can get basically 80,000 gil per fight if you have all the girls on Lady Luck with Gillionaire. So, so that's basically what I did. I fought Machina Panzer a whole bunch of times so we could get our gil up because we need to go purchase the Disaster in Bloom uh, Garment Grid, which is what we're gonna do first. One of the only last two things we need to do. So let's go over to Calmlands. Oh yeah, Bavel's a hot spot now because of yesterday's stream. So there we go. Let's go to Calmlands. We already did the episode complete last time, but we didn't have enough gill to actually do the purchase. Uh, let's also equip our trainers back since that's what we are leveling right now. Okay, and you can see also I got some levels. I was like 40, now I'm 45, basically. All right, let's head on over and do our purchase. And then we don't have to do the publicity anymore. On our third run, we won't have to do it at all. So that'll be nice. are going to trade in credits. Okay, so there it is. We only have 200 credits right now, so we need to buy some credits. I wish it would give me more digits, <laughs> just like last time we have to buy them in chunks, so we're going to do that until we get to the 200,000.
I assume that the game intends you to actually play the mini games instead of just farm gill, but um, farming gill is easier and more reliable, so that's what we're, we did. Closer. Um, let's see. Did that get me to zero numbers? Let's see. Oh no. Um, okay. Okay, so now this one. And then we just need 1,000 more, I think. Yes, okay. Now let's get our garment grid. Disaster in bloom, okay. That is not all the garment grids. There is still another garment grid that we do not have. There's one other that you get for oversoling everything um, but we're going to worry about that in another run. We are not going to do that right now. I'm on a roll! Satisfied? All right, Tuba Bell. All right, last time we made it down to level 20. So uh, let's fight our way to the next boss. Eventually this will get harder, but these next 20 floors should be similarly no big deal. Oh. Get down there. Now this should be a um, more chill run than the first time doing via Infinito an empty win. because we have two Invincibles now and we have an Iron Duke, which is going to be very, very helpful for destroying everybody and everything. We'll see if we finish leveling up trainers before um, we make it that far. clean the tips better. Oh, it's you.
Come on. There we go. <laughs> Jane, hello. How are you today? Killing Tonberries is so good. Once again, this game is fashion forward. Fuck yeah. Look at this. This is the trainer dress sphere where they all get pets. Look at how cute. They all look awesome. And hopefully they'll do it again. You'll see it. Uh, they'll call their pets like good boy, good girl. And Riku gives herself monkey points. It's very cute. Early bird catches the worm. They can wear these like beautiful maxi dresses with their pets because um, the pets do all the work for them. So they're able to do that. In this house, love and appreciate working animals. That's true. We do, we do. I hope the horsies were doing good this weekend, by the way. It's cold here today. I just had to go put some um, a box up in the garage because we had decorated the Christmas tree. So I put the box that had the ornaments in it back away. And just walking to the garage, I was like, it's freaking freezing. The heck? The house is not cold. Like, I'm warm in the house. But that garage was cold, so I know it's cold outside. Insane. But yeah, tree is decorated. We put up wreaths. The house is Christmas ready. I put our little little yard flag up that has our Christmas thing on it. Um, we put up the penguin lights. We like to cover our porch lights with these little, with various little things for the holidays, and uh, we put little penguins on there for Christmas, and then change the color so it's a red light and a green light for Christmas colors. The horsies are super good. I got to ride on one of my favorites. Yes! I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I remember that from yesterday. Yes. Horsies are good animals. I haven't interacted with a horse in a long time. My mom is already lost at Whamageddon. What? <laughs> I'm still in the game, but the radio started playing Christmas music, so it's only a matter of time. <laughs> it's Christmas time. Y'all, you can't even... I mean, you don't have that excuse over there, but it's not even Thanksgiving anymore. Like, it's Christmas time. If it's too, if it's too soon for people, like, I don't know how to help you. It's not too soon anymore. It is Christmas. I mean, I put the blue with the little shimmery. This is a, you know, winter, December, Christmassy Manny. We're gonna get even more Christmassy as December goes on. But I thought this blue shimmer looked good for early December, you know? Cause it's about to be. Can you believe that? It's about, it's about to be December already. Twenty twenty four gonna be here before we know it. And I'm definitely doing New Year, New Me, but like on the Twitch channel, we're rebranding. 
I'm a Final Fantasy streamer now. This is gonna be my main games. I'm gonna niche down. Pick something I like that I think I can get a lot out of, which is Final Fantasy. So that's what we're gonna do, 2024. No longer a variety streamer. I gotta get my Christmas shopping done before it gets too busy. But no one has wish lists yet. To be fair, I don't have mine either. Oh my god, make your wish list. Yeah, I need to do Christmas shopping too. I think I, I gotta say this quiet because Levi can hear. But I think I picked out Levi's Christmas gift. I just have to figure out how to get it without him figuring out what it is. So I can't like order it from Amazon or anything like that. I gotta order it from somewhere where he can't see. I tried the Final Fantasy MMO, it was so crazy, I couldn't even figure out where I was on the map. <laughs> yeah, Final Fantasy um, 14 is very popular, but visually it's a little bit overwhelming, I think. I mean, I liked it, like, I played through the story. Um, I don't, I didn't play the latest expansion, but, you know, I got my cat girl on, it was fun, it was fun, but it wasn't really for me. You're not getting away! confident huh it's a little bit too much you know it's so hard i've already bought all the books i was interested in getting for this year and now i'm out of ideas oh no <laughs> oh no <laughs> are there cute things like maybe you could um put like you know cute cute clothes or like stuffed animals or you know um uh lotion or something like that on a wish list that's like you know, you probably wouldn't really buy it for yourself, but like they would be nice to get as gifts sort of thing. You know, or like figurines, that's another good example of something like that. You know, maybe you can make a wish list of that type of stuff. That's like maybe a little bit frivolous, but like, you know. You guys should check out Follow? What's Follow? Like, I don't know if you wear makeup Koneko, but like makeup is also another good one that you can put on wish lists. It's like you wouldn't necessarily get like a new palette for yourself, but it's a good gift. Um, a gift that we, that if you cook, like my husband cooks, so getting him sauce, sauces or spice mixes is like always a good gift if you don't know what to get. I don't know if you cook, but if somebody, if you cook, then um, those are good ones. Or if you know someone that cooks but has not made their wish list, there you go. You buy a bracelet and they ship it to you, but it comes with this card and has a picture and other information, including the name of the wild animal that's been tagged. We basically follow their life around the earth by GPS and all the money helps with conservation efforts of that kind of animal. Oh my God, really? Oh, that's a great gift, Jane. I think anybody would love to get one of those. I mean, I, I don't know, unless you hate animals, but everyone likes some, there's some kind of animals that everybody likes. That's a great gift idea. Follow, F-A-H-L-O. Okay. I'm going to Google that. Because that sounds like a really good gift idea. I got a shark and a gorilla and a turtle and a penguin. Oh my god, yes. All great animal choices. I would love to have a shark one. Oh my god, that would be so cool. I was considering something like trinkets too, or maybe something for a costume, since I'm working on a few costumes, maybe a game. I've been looking for a few games, but I don't know if they're out yet. Yeah, those are all great ideas. You know, a lot of games come out this time of year, so stuff might be out that you're thinking of. Yeah, you can watch them around the ocean. I can't wait for mine to come in the mail. I'm gonna give them as gifts. Yes! Jane, that's perfect. Okay, gift idea for when you for people that you don't know what to get. Follow bracelet. Bring it, punk. Anyone would love that. As gifts, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Thank you. Come again. I'll be back. Okay. We love our lurkers here, Jane, so it's all good. It's all good. We made it to 30. 10 more and we get a boss. The turtle one might be fun to get for my mom. Gonna have a look into that. Yeah! A lot of people love turtles. I'm on a roll. I mean, I think all the animals Jane just listed are pretty popular, so I would think, like, at least one of those... Um, anyone would like at least one of those. You know, or if they have big cats. Everybody loves cats. So they have like a tiger one or something. That would be so cool. Did I already? I already did that one. Got excited about animal bracelets, not paying attention to what I'm doing. That's okay. <clears throat> oh, you. They have lions? Oh, perfect. Lots of people love lions. Do they have wolves? That would be another popular animal, too, that lots of people would like. Oh my god, die already. You're so annoying. Oh, I just heard the door. Jeff already... Oh my god, they're gonna die. Come on, flurry. But there are dolphins. No wolves, but dolphins. Dolphins is good. Dolphins is a very popular animal as well. There we go. He dead now. He almost got me. But I'm too strong for him. No, I didn't mean to do another HP flurry. But I guess it's okay, they can heal. And go back to attacking. What other animals do they have, Koneko, since you're looking at them? Do they have any birds? Penguins, but no other birds, I see. Well, penguins is good. But it would be really cool if they had, like, some kind of flying bird, like, um, uh, bald eagles or some other kind of... I'm sure there's other endangered, like, eagles or, um, raptor type of birds or something, too. It would be neato. Let's see, can I do something... Can I do something better? Uh, let's see. Let's give him some darkness. Will it work? Oh, yeah, he does the same thing. Steel kill, okay. Whatever. Ah, uh, you can't- you can't darkness him! It's crap. Bullshit. He's got too much defense. It's illegal. At least pain can heal as trainer. God, my nose is so itchy today. I've been having a lot of issues with, um, like, random, like, allergies. I'm on the nasal court, which is helping with, um, you know, some of it. But I'm still having, like, some eye, like, my eyes are kind of going, you know? And a lot of, like, itching. It's not fixing everything. There's something in the air. It started, like, a week ago. Oh, no, not that. Not that. Come on. Die, die, die. 
Die now. There we go. Thank you. We will have none of that. You again? Hello, this is not right. What is that Korogora strike we got? Oh, instantly defeat, okay. I think they all get one of those at some point in trainer. It's like an instant kill. That's right, Pain. Pain probably is a morning person. She would be. Why are there so many of these stupid iron sides? his defense is. That is insane. Should be illegal. Oh no. No, no, no. There we go. Good thing he seems to always be about dead when he opens up his chest like that. Nobody wants to see that, sir. Nobody wants to see that. You can put it away.
I think this time, with the accessories we have to beat Tremo, we probably need to get into the high 70s. It's probably the level we're shooting for. Don't stop it, Riku. It's funny. Since we uh, put up the Christmas tree and decorated that, of course the kittens are already all over it. Um, both uh, Lady and Oreo want to eat it. It's a plastic tree with lights in it, so <laughs> we uh, we cannot leave it plugged in overnight or without supervision because they'll try to bite the lights. But it looks really nice. And we put plastic ornaments on it, so they cannot break the ornaments at least. Thank you so much for the lurk, Koneko. We love our lurkers here. And they don't play hard enough to knock the tree over, so I feel like this is probably plenty. But if anybody has cats that like to bite lights, let me know what you do to get them to stop. It's just the kittens. Oreo and Lady do this. Uh, Queen and Ash do not do this. They don't bite the tree. I don't know what it is. Like, it's plastic. It's not even a real tree. So I don't understand why they want to bite it so much. I didn't hit the Tom Berry, okay. Satisfied? Totally. We're gonna kick your booty. Doing that meteor as he's dying. That's so rude. Oh, again. Again. You want more? I got more.
I didn't know those guys needed mighty guard. Oh, you dead now anyways. That mighty guard was too late. Stepping on that. We are not going back. Doggy. I like when she says that. It's so cute. Right, now we're at the levels where there is two of those red drake things, not just one. Okay, next boss. I think if I just put on mascots um, and good accessories, I can beat him. So let's do our one garment grid. I know it already has mascot on it. Yeah, higher power. Let's put on mascot. And okay. Mess with the accessories in a minute. I don't think Ribbon's gonna do anything for me.
There's no reason to do Invincible on Riku. Um, do 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 do. What do I want to put on her? Duke on Riku, and let's put Invincible on Yuna. Okay. I think that's good. Alright, let's go save, and then we'll beat him up. Almost didn't make a new save file for today. Okay. Boss time. Excellent. All right. That should be plenty to beat up this boss. So let's go find out. What's up, Jiskel? How you doing? Oh. Oh, that's how you're doing? Well, that sucks. Sorry for you. Oh, you bitch. We can survive the ultimate, right? Oh, well, Riku can. Okay. Well, let's make a Phoenix. Oh, good. Oh yeah, because she's got she's got a mascot on, so ribbons, okay. I can't believe that bitch ultimate me. Oh, he didn't last long. At least he has like no HP. Treasure! Moon Bracer. Shining Bracer. Speed Bracer. Recovery Bracer. Catnip. Yeah. Okay. We can um, put our other stuff back on. if I want to put ribbons back on. I don't know if it's necessary. I'll leave them off for now and see what happens, and if I get annoyed with status effects, we'll put them back on. Alright, so it took us about 45 minutes to get from floor 20 down to floor 40. So let's see if we can get to 60 in similar amount of time. I think we can. I think the enemies will still be relatively easy. We can just attack and beat them up. I don't think it's until after floor, floor 60 that I'm going to start to, like, have any kind of troubles. <clears throat> Is this right? I don't think I went the right way. Thank you. Come again. 
down here? Yeah, that wasn't the right way. Okay. Yeah, we go up here. Yuna, marimas. We kill the Tonberry, then go back down. Tomberry. What's up? I'm here at your house. Just kicking down the door. go. Oversold one didn't want to get dead. How how are we on our abilities for trainer? Oh, okay. We're still making it through. Okay. Alright, we got quite a ways. On all the girls. Get him, get him, get him. Early bird catches the worm. Oh, this is the Dutch angle one. Okay, I have to go right instead of left. This way. Oh, two oversouls. Okay.
them. Get him. I go the way I was pointed. Oh, I thought I was going to get all the way to the end with no battle. Oh no, okay. It's okay, the little con berries is easy. We haven't gotten to the big ones yet. It always misses. I don't think I ever see those things get the, the thrust kick. They always miss.
Geronimo! Whee! Oh, there's the big tonberry. Okay. We gotta go backwards. A hundred monkey points. A hundred monkey points. Okay, let's get some eye drops. There you are. I have accidentally walked into the back of that big tonberry so many times. We are not going to do that again. I'm an inch closer. Oh, nope, this way. This way. Go, he's at your service. good on these floors. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some super, not, not that, super speed. Let's do some super speed. I'm gonna have to turn it off sometimes because I don't want to run into like the tomberries or whatever, but I think we can super speed a few of these floors. Super speed. What have, you, what have you got? Oh my god, what are you guys doing? What are they inflicting on them, Itchy? Oh, 
let's see. Let's do a remedy. Yeah, itchy. Oh my god. As soon as I decide super speed's a good idea. Oh, not remedies. <laughs> I meant to attack. Oh. Uh, well, now I do need a remedy on Riku. Maybe having ribbons was a good idea. Wait, why are you guarding now? He's got a guard against that, okay. Can we attack? We cannot attack, okay. Can't do that either, alright. Trainers cannot beat up the ultimate weapon, that's no good. Might have to switch dress spheres, okay. As soon as I started going turbo speed, the game was like, you think you can go fast? You think. You think a lot of things. Okay, let's beat him up. Can we do holy damage? The dog eat you world. Oh my god. We just gotta get him before he does his stupid shield. Close are you to dying? There we go. Case closed. Just didn't kill the other one fast enough.
Oh, we're on the giant ones now, okay. We won! An empty win. Hey, Blue, how's it going? Good luck with the VF Purifico. Yes. <laughs> oh, I need to look at it through Twitch chat instead of Restream. I think there's... Oh, no, you just typed Monka S. I thought it was the emote. How are you doing, Blue? We're going to beat it this time without even being level 99. It's going to be awesome. Since this is our second go-through. Yuna wishes this was the Via Perifico. That would be easier. Welcome back, Koneko! Leave it to me. Oh, y'all. I just remembered. I'm having pizza for dinner. Very excited. We managed to send a lot of our Thanksgiving leftovers home with the with the guests. So we did have some leftovers and we have we did eat Satisfied. leftovers yesterday and the day before. <laughs> uh, but today we're getting pizza. It's gonna be delicious. We made a ham for Thanksgiving. It was so good. It was funny though. Usually we take the ham bone and make like Hoppin' Johns or something like that with it. It was a, it was a 10 pound ham, y'all. A 10 pound ham. And the bone was so tiny. It was like, like this. Like that was it. And that whole big ol' ham. It was insane. How does that happen? That poor pig must have just like laid down its whole life. Because how the heck would that bone have supported a 10 pound ham? It couldn't have. It couldn't have. That poor piggy. Uh, my mind was blown when I saw it. Insane. So we're gonna have to get another um, ham to get uh, a ham bone for Hoppin' Johns for New Year's. Thanks, Blue. We love our lurkers here. Stop with the defense up. I kind of have to start attacking the bully cap. I don't want to, because the salad's not going to die. Come on. Oh my god, okay. We have to take out the bully cap first. And just like, it's gonna be annoying trying to kill the salad, but it's what it is. Okay, let's try to cheese it. Um, yes. Do I have Carrier Flurry? Yes, I do. Okay. Does Giki have one of those? No. I'm just attack. For Black Friday, I caved and bought the next-gen consoles. Hell yeah, Blue. What games are you getting for them? What are you most excited to play on the next-gen consoles? Start from there. Took the cheapest console they had, Xbox Series X. Hey, it's good, though. Xbox Series S, S is a um, good console. What are you getting for it? That's the Xbox we have, Series S. A game you don't want mentioned in this chat? Oh. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. 
Everybody should play whatever they want to play. I caved and my little sister and I are playing it. Understood. Yeah. Yeah, blue. I mean, it's out for the Switch and everything now. Like, I mean, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It was pretty fun. Wizard King. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know, all that's so unfortunate because there's a lot of good stuff in that game. Other than that, I used all the savings from not buying a Series X <laughs> and bought a ton of gift cards to buy digital games. Good! I hope you have lots of good games in your future. I don't know, we, we like our Xbox. I would say when it comes to like the games that my husband plays, like that's most of what he's doing is on the Xbox. Um, it's a good console, it's got a lot of stuff for it. I mostly play, as y'all know, on the PC and the Switch, so. But I do have the Xbox like pass that lets you play the Xbox games on the PC, which is good. I really like it. The most expensive thing I bought was said wizard game. <laughs> well, it's still full price right now, right? Because it like just came out for the Switch, so it hasn't had any price drops or anything. I would think the only way you could get a cheaper one would be like to go to a GameStop and buy a used one or some kind of situation like that. Like there's no there's no cheaper version right now. No sale version right now. Probably not, and there probably won't be until after Christmas. 40% drop in the stores? Oh, that's nice. I'm kind of surprised. I would think that price drops wouldn't happen for that game until after Christmas, considering how um, well it's sold. But what do I know? So I got it for like 40 bucks on Xbox Black Friday. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. And you know, she who will not be named already got paid. Your purchase has very little to do with that in reality. So it's all good. And I honestly think at this point, like, the controversy has died down. People probably could, like, stream that game and it wouldn't be detrimental. But, like, when that game first came out, you know, a lot of streamers, like, streaming it was, like... You know, they lost a bunch of viewers. And then they got that, I got my share of COD games. Always good. They have a new one every year, so, you know, gotta keep up with the COD. You know, we have not- I can't remember the last time, though, that we played a COD game. And they've gotten so samey, I don't think- because my husband and roommate pretty much always would get the new COD game, but I don't think they got the last one, you know? But, I mean, they have all been the same every year kind of recently, you know. The controversy died the second didn't make it to the game of the year conversation. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm not saying the game was bad or anything, but it was not a game of the year contender. I mean, come on. No, I saw I saw the game of the year contenders. I think it was all pretty fair. Baldur's Gate 3 obviously is going to win it. It's going to sweep. Like any everything it was nominated for, it's going to get. Oh my god, I hate how much defense these big ones will get up. Let's speed them up. Zoom, zoom. Can't wait for Alan Wake, Alan Wake 2 to win. <laughs> what was it nominated for? I'm trying to remember. What categories was it in? Was it in any categories? I cannot remember now. I looked at it when the when the categories first came out, so that was like a you know over a week ago now. You know what was nominated for a few categories that deserves to win but probably will get snubbed? Is that hi-fi um, game, what was it called? Hi-fi something. And it was like a rhythm rhythm game and uh, action game at the same time. Very cool and innovative, neat. Never seen anything like it. It was in a couple of categories, but I just don't think it was popular enough to actually win. Because it's all popularity contests, you know? Oh my god, this thing just will not die. Hi-Fi Rush, yes, that game. 
very innovative game. Probably the most unique game I have seen in a long time. It deserves some more accolades than it's gotten. It's not getting a nomination for being an Xbox exclusive. Oh, okay. The biggest gotcha in gaming history. That is ridiculous. No, Hi-Fi Rush was on. It was it was nominated for a couple things. I saw it, like sound design and some stuff like that. I just don't think it's going to win. But I saw it on there when I was voting. Same goes for Starfield. Well, I'm sure Starfield was also a good game, but like, is it really, you know, game of the year contender? I don't know. But no, like, Hi-Fi Rush was on there. I saw it on some of the categories. <clears throat> Not game of the year, obviously, but, like, it had, like, sound design and a couple of other things that were related to, like, what was so good about it. Wizard game COD, S SOTN, Far Cry 4, Oblivion, the stuff I bought. What's SOTN? It's not ringing. What is that? Oh, no, this way. Oh, Symphony of the Night. Oh, okay, okay. Good choices. Good choices. You'll have a lot of good um, gaming over the holidays with those. Lou, you don't stream, do you? I feel like I've asked you this before and you said no. Oh, Lost Odyssey, really? That's a good one. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot of fun over the holidays. Are you making yourself wait until it's actually Christmas to like open stuff up and use it? Got it for like seven bucks, holy crap. That's a good deal. You did get a good deal on that, dang. I mean, the sales happened this past week, yeah. Oh my god, okay. Would have to put Yuna to sleep. So I had to cash in. <laughs> no waiting for Christmas. No, I mean, like, to play it. Like, do you make yourself, um, wait to actually, like, play the stuff that you got for yourself for Christmas? Like, opening Christmas presents. No, I don't stream. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. It's like, I feel like I had asked you that before and you said no. Yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously you went ahead and bought them, but, like, are you gonna wrap them up and, like, open them Christmas morning, or are you gonna actually play stuff now? All this game talk is making me think my own gaming journey again. Yes! I've been saying that I don't really care to play the Kingdom Hearts games myself, but I'm thinking that I might, yes. But I would need a console, and I want to keep up with that series. I should get the current-gen console, and that's expensive. Yeah, it does get expensive very fast. Um, but I don't think, you know, I think you can have a nice, lovely gaming journey without, like committing to the newest latest greatest games like a lot that's why I like, i'm playing a lot of the older final fantasies and not really like the latest greatest one because like i can easily play um for play them on pc you know 
And because, like, I'm not as committed, obviously I'm not going to be on here playing Final Fantasy 16 or whatever, but that's okay. Um, I can still play the old ones. Well, I could just play Hot Till Christmas. You could. <laughs> and I don't know. I've never looked into... Are there PC versions of Kingdom Hearts to where, like, you could play it, like, on a laptop or something? Because when I'm not streaming, most of my gaming really is on my laptop or on my Switch. Uh, oh, Phoenix down. That's what I wanted. PS4 lets you experience 80% of Kingdom Hearts franchise. A lot of it, except for the handheld ones, right? Is that right, Koneko? If you got a PS4, you could do most of it. And also, yeah, EGS has Kingdom Hearts franchise too, yeah. There's PC versions on Epic Games. Yeah, Epic Games, yep. But I doubt my laptop can handle them, and I prefer console anyway. So yes, it's on PC. Makes sense. <clears throat> I do like playing with my controller. Even when I'm playing on PC, like now, I still have my controller. PS3, 4, 5, yeah. Xbox One, yeah, PC, yep. Oh, shoot, I forgot you were down there. Oh well, let's kick its booty. I just went totally the wrong way, and we cannot run away from this guy, so hopefully we'll kill him. Oh god, no we won't. We're not gonna kill him. Game over, man. Game over. Yep. 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 Just kill her. Just kill her. We're gonna we're gonna start this cloister over. <laughs> it's okay. You got this. Oh wait, why is he missing over and over? Is this one of those things where if like Oh. Once he kills two, he changes what moves he does? Oh, okay, wait, maybe Riku can take him. Get experience 80% on consoles after the year 2019. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking of PS4 too, since I have Melody of Memory on Switch and I have 3DS for the handhelds, yep. But I'm worried about future game releases. I'd rather get one backwards compatible console than buy a previous gen console now and have to pay current gen console. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point, Koneko. That's a really good point. I still want to buy games for Cyber Monday. There will be more game deals, I'm sure, coming out on Monday. I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I have my Switch for, like, cozy games and little games and stuff like that, you know? And then I have my laptop, um, and I can play almost anything I would want to on the laptop, and then I don't feel like I need to get a, a console and keep up with current-gen consoles and having a laptop that can play some games, I think, like, does plenty. Now, I can't play everything, right? Like, it's it can play most games, but not everything. Like, I tried to get and download Baldur's Gate 3, but, like, it really could not handle that that game so I'm just gonna have to wait and uh, and play that some other time you know when it's old or whatever and I upgrade the laptop but like anything that's not like current current games that come out for PC pretty much it can play um, but it could not handle Baldur's Gate 3 it just wasn't that well enough optimized on PC I think it's so cute how like the animals like the girls are passed out but the animals are still like running around <laughs> in this My Lou laptop could probably handle the Kingdom Hearts game so far, but I just don't like gaming on a laptop, yeah. Yeah, if you do, I would recommend getting something like this so you can do a controller with the laptop, because that's how I do it. And then I still get that same, like, console experience. And this is, this thing's pretty cheap. Uh, what is it? 8BitDo, 8B-I-T-D-O is the brand that I use so I can do controller on the laptop oh my god okay I guess he's not gonna do I guess we can beat him up because he's not gonna do the other attacks now that it's just Riku so we'll just speed up and beat him up I did not mean to even fight you my dude this was an accident I went the wrong way Can I undo your protect? 
that's something I can do. Uh, let's do, let's dispel him. Okay. Nope, couldn't dispel him, he's still, okay, well he's dead now. Okay. <laughs> that was, that was a mistake. Oops. But we survived. I thought for sure I was gonna game over, man, game over. But no. We did not. Wee! Okay. Dang it. Didn't mean to Phoenix down. What a waste. The plus about consoles is that when you get a game for a console, typically it's like optimized for that console. So you're less likely to have like weird performance issues and um, I mean, <sighs> console games are still glitched all to hell a lot of times, but it's not the same as like the kind of glitches you experience on a PC. So there is something to be said for it. Sometimes gaming on the PC is very frustrating. But I do it because I just have one machine I have to maintain then and feel like I need to upgrade and all that stuff. We're gonna keep up and go the right way this time. Also, kill this queen bee before it puts anyone to sleep, yes. over halfway you guys sort of kind of because everything gets harder so kind of sort of halfway i would say 60 is probably more closer to halfway the things i'm doing to get a freaking another iron duke but like it's so op like you see how much damage riku does compared to the other two she's wearing the iron duke right now and how much damage yuno is doing before when she was the one wearing the Iron Duke, like it's just, it's just insane. Oh, Blue, I'm, uh, your, your game haul from the Black Friday sale sounds, like, so awesome. I'm, like, really jealous. I need to do my shopping. For real. For Christmas. The only reason I haven't done it yet is because we are going to be taking a cruise over Christmas in December, so we just spent some money. But once all that clears, I'm going to do my Christmas shopping. It's funny, really? Why is it funny? Okay, we can speed him up. Turbo! He's just going to keep defense upping.
Stop picking on Yuna. God. I've used Sony consoles and been a PlayStation COD for the past 20 years. Really? I didn't know you were a Sony boy. Don't give your loyalty away to a company. You should diversify yourself. Oh, kid, Sony kid. Okay, I see. Oh my god, stop picking on Yuna! Just literally attack anybody else. a Nintendo kid most of my life, only considering branching out to PlayStation or Xbox now for Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I have to say, if I was gonna, like, say, oh, I was this or that, I was more of a Nintendo kid um, for the longest time. But then I, we got PlayStations when, um, when, you know, Final Fantasy was coming out and we wanted to play the Final Fantasy games, so then we got PlayStations. But when I was little, it was, um, Nintendo. And I definitely do feel an affinity for Nintendo that I don't really feel for um, other consoles, but like, I think it's ultimately good to diversify yourself. Hence the PC plus Switch combo now. You know, it says PC plus Switch, not PC plus Xbox, you know. Because I feel like the Switch is the only console that like, can't really be replicated on a PC. You know. But older Nintendo consoles, I'll emulate and play on a PC, you know. Even back in the day, I was doing that. Like in the N64 days, I was emulating um, Nintendo and Super Nintendo. Nintendo has me on user friendliness, but they're behind on the technical stuff sometimes. That's very true. For the past, like, several consoles, that's been true for them. Oh my god, I'm about done with this. I'm about to escape. And be like, see ya. We're just not doing enough damage. It's gonna take forever. Yeah, we're, I'm over it. Oh, I didn't mean to attack. I meant to run. I don't need the experience from you that bad. Oh, another! The same freaking pair! Let's try killing the salad first. We can kill him faster. Well, he defenses too much. Yeah, but then we have nausea power to kill with. You know what the Nintendo's coolest thing that they have done though recently really is the Switch. The idea of like a handhold console that you can also play on your TV is pretty freaking amazing. And I really hope that Switch 2, which I assume they're going to announce and is going to come out soon, uh, keeps that idea.
because that's where Nintendo really has it. They have it in the handheld market. It really sucks that there's no native ports for Kingdom Hearts games on the Switch. Yeah, and they're all through cloud, which is notoriously laggy. Yep. I suspected the servers are exclusively in Japan. I would not be surprised. If they were properly ported to the Switch, I would 100% play those ports. Yeah. For real. They should. I don't know why they don't fully port them. I think that they would sell. Instead of just being cloud ports. I think people are running Switch games on PC at decent speeds with higher in 2018 PC parts. Yeah. Yuzu was pretty successful being a four-year-old project. That's true. Sorry we had to win. I'm not. Yeah, it is technically, but it's in their, like, cloud service. So, like, you're not really buying the game. And I wouldn't want to play a game like Kingdom Hearts where it's like kind of action based and that sort of thing with that much lag. I think it's technical limitation on Kingdom Hearts 3, but that doesn't excuse the earlier games for not being ported properly. They could have been ported properly. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts, the first one, absolutely could be ported to Switch. Switch could 100% handle that game, no doubt in my mind. Um, it could be ported with without really a lot of effort, I'm pretty sure. Roughly three weeks ago, I was thinking about buying the Xbox ecosystem for a myriad of reasons, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can understand why some of the later games wouldn't be, but like the first Kingdom Hearts, that's a no-brainer, and I'm sure you could port it. Oh, Unistoned. Oh my god, and Painstoned. Okay, oh my god. We have softs. We don't have any softs. I was honestly still on the edge. Oh, dang it. The only thing about restream chat is the chats kind of disappear after a second. I was honestly still on the edge of not buying Xbox even this past Tuesday. Really? <laughs> They're both stone. What have they been doing in their spare time? All kinds of things connect. All kinds of things. These girls are crazy. I researched the store what felt like a million times over before finally making my purchase. Yeah. That's how I am a lot, too. I don't want to spend the money if I don't really want to spend the money, you know, because I have to be sure. There we go. Got him fast that time. No stoning. I have to look into Xbox versus PlayStation will get me. Probably won't get either of them before next year anyway. Yeah, but at least you could know. Like, oh, if I got this, it would have this game, this game, this game. If I got this, it would have this game, this game, this game, you know? Satisfied. One thing I will say about Xbox, which is why um, I do like that console nowadays, is because of the Xbox Live. How you can get the Xbox Live subscription. It's very cheap, and you get access to a ton of games. Um, now, it does rotate, like, you know, it's a service, so you don't, like, necessarily have all the, the games forever, the but, like, if you just want to be able to, like, get on and be able to easily find a game that you want to play and load it up right then and play, the Xbox um, Live, like, the Game Pass, the Game Pass is an amazing service. Finally cashed in while buying into digital feature. Yeah, I got a ton of games. I know I have a lot of replay value. You definitely did. You definitely did. Plus, Game Pass is a decent deal. I feel like taking the online game rate, yeah. Yeah, Game Pass is a really good deal. I think they do a really good job with, like, providing a games as a service, which fundamentally I don't super agree with, but um, Xbox Live has the best one, and I am pretty pleased with it, you know? And I do have it and use it. And I do like it. So, you know, if you're going to do games as a service, Xbox Live is the way to do it. And it's, and it's so cheap. It's so cheap. Dr. P is in the house! Stop that. Don't stop it, Riku. You say whatever you want. But 
buddy of mine can't believe the Xbox gives better deal than Netflix. For real, it does though. It gives a way better deal than really any streaming service. I even think about like Hulu and Netflix and like, you know, Apple Plus and yada yada, all the different streaming services that we've used at various times over the years and some still use. Um, Xbox Live is probably the best one. I told him Brother Pirate Bay still gives the best deals well. <laughs> you know, I think though, like, you know, if you make something affordable and easy for people, they won't pirate, they'll buy it, you know? Now, there are people that will pirate no matter what, but those aren't, you know, their customers anyway. But I think most people do want to pay for the their entertainment. Like, they want to pay, they just want to pay fairly. They don't want to feel like that their money is wasted going to nothing. That they're getting a crappy deal. Even independent modders and community members of Cotter against cracked games, yeah. Like, I hate, you know, when we play uh, Sims 2, which I don't know how much Sims 2 I'll play in 2024. We'll see. Um, but we might do. Maybe we'll do, like, uh, Sims when we reach uh, for, like, my 500 follower special or something. But anyways, um, the whole... I play a, a pirated version, cracked version, basically, of that game. But that's only because I have no choice. There is no other way to realistically to play that game legit. You know, you can buy the discs Let's off of eBay, it. but, like... I don't even have a, a CD-ROM drive on my computer, like, there's just no way. Oh my god. The stupid bee going around stoning everybody again. Oh no, itchy. Whatever, get it. Get it, get it. Oh my god, it won't die. Okay. I'm not gonna waste all my resources on nonsense. Oh, now it's dead. Of course, now it's dead. Whatever. See, Xbox has the best version of my favorite versions of COD, which is somewhat finalized, yeah. But come on. I get the best parts. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Lost Odyssey, yep. <laughs> game Pass is good. I love my Game Pass. I was using that to play um, Persona 5, which I had never played before. It was pretty fun. I got about halfway through it. I like doing physical games. Pretty cases to make my brain go blurry. That's true. I do like to have the physical ones when I can, you know. But they take up space, and I don't like to take up space in my house also. That's a point in favor of PlayStation, yeah. I'm playing Banjo thanks to Game Pass. That's awesome. Why'd you jump down, Yuna? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think, um... Oh, okay, ha! Ah, we made it to the boss. All right, let's go save. Save and set up. Okay, we're gonna use the Berserker Cheese strat for this, because um, we love our Berserker Cheese. So let's go and equip that. Mm, I guess for Berserkers... There's no reason to use higher power, right? HP limit? There's Yeah, there's no reason. Okay, so we need to go to Valiant Luster. And we're going to put Berserker on there instead of Festivalist. Oh, I meant instead of Festivalist. Oh my god. <gasps> what was on there before? Alchemist? Yeah, the Alchemist back on there. Okay. From what I heard, Target of all stores has the best PS5 deal ever. 350 for Black Friday. Holy crap, that's a really good deal. All right, let's equip. Okay, no Valiant Luster, yeah. Berserker, Berserker, Berserker. Okay, 
And then I think we, I think ribbons are useful for this guy. So we're gonna put on some ribbons. Put our pretty, pretty ribbons in our pretty, pretty hair. Ribbons are not useful for the next boss, but for this boss, I think they are. Okay, so put on our ribbons. And then I think that's all we need to do. Pretty sure like this is it. Okay, let's save. I can only find Kingdom Hearts 3 available physically on Xbox. Aw, uh, not story so far. Oh yeah. I never played story so far. I don't know anything about that one. Okay, continue from the deepest. All right, let's go. Let's beat up the conqueror. I just remembered when it was finally revealed the Kingdom Hearts made it Xbox before COVID hit. Yeah, yeah, I did. Is this collection of everything before Kingdom Hearts 3? Oh, okay, okay. 1.5 and 2.5 in a much prettier package. Understood, understood. I'm following, I'm following now. I understand. So to get everything, I'd only have to get stories so far in Kingdom Hearts 3 with DLC. Let's see. And stories so far is just for PlayStation. but it's also everything available for half the price, yeah. I mean, I would think the collection makes way more sense. Speaking of Square, the other reason I bought Xbox for 360 store is closing in summer 2024, really? That's sad, but they do all close eventually, you know? They do. I mean, they can't keep their services open for forever. Like, look at that damage that Riku's doing with Iron Duke on, my god. Like, 1,000 and 2,000 on Berserker? That's crazy. Me buying into Xbox's FOMO love story. <laughs> they get you with that FOMO, they really do. That's why I think, like, um, games preservation is important. Like, anybody that's working to preserve old games... Like, they are doing, like, really good work because these, um, companies don't care. If they can't make money off of it anymore, they're not gonna, they're not gonna keep it, you know? They're not gonna keep a library of it. Oh yeah, there's no reason to heal. Just Phoenix down. Final Fantasy XIII is literally the least amount of hassle on Xbox, yeah. On PC, you gotta jump through. Do you? I thought there was just a regular PC version of 13. I'm pretty sure I have it. Like, I got, I think I got it on Steam. I don't know, maybe I'm misremembering, but I could have sworn I bought it on Steam.
Man, I love Berserkers. This is like the coolest dress here. And they're all cat girls. So even better. Also, I bought into Bethesda games. What, what, um... I never played an Elder Scrolls title before. Yeah, I don't really know as much about um, Bethesda RPGs. I never got super into them. I know they're, like, really popular, and, like, I've played some of it, you know? But just not hardcore, like, I never beat one or anything like that. I was just as a kid, like, so into JRPGs instead, you know? I want to see what the fabled Western RPG is all about. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know so much either. I want to see what Todd Howard sees. Soon you will. Soon you will, Blue. <laughs> yeah, I don't know so much either. I think the closest thing to, like, Western RPGs that I really played hardcore was, like, um, MMOs, like EverQuest and WoW and um, stuff like that. Which has a lot of the same bones, you know. EverQuest definitely has a lot of the same bones. Had, I guess. I mean, EverQuest is still technically going, but, like, <laughs> for who? For who? Oh my god, why are you Megaton pressing twice in a row? That's rude. You can't do that. It's gonna hurt the girls too much. There was a recent interview with Todd on Wired, and I don't know how you feel about the guy. It could be so wholesome, yet so damn sleazy in an interview. I have not seen it. I don't really know. I don't know anything about that. Is he one of those people that's been in trouble for, like, doing stuff at work that he shouldn't be? There's a lot of games people like that, that's why I'm asking. He teased Elder Scrolls 6 again after the court case. Oh, there's a court case? Oh, so, oh, so he is one of those guys. Man, there's too many people like that in games, I cannot keep up. I need to chill out. Pathological liar given his industry and press releases. Well, that's not good. He should probably go see somebody for that. These games people are- a lot of them are crazy, though. They, like, let the, like, the tiniest little bit of, like, corporate power get to their head. Maxed out his speech, maybe. <laughs> Some people are like that, you know, and they get away with it. It's really disgusting. It's really sad how easy it is to, like, say the right things and manipulate people, you know? points of public speaking charisma and speech gives you 16 times chances of the average game developer. <laughs> I feel like the, all of them, even like the crappy ones, like they get too many chances. 
It's insane. Way too much of a boys club in that industry. Which is really sad because gaming and computers and stuff um, used to be, like back in the day, like in the 80s, 70s and 80s or whatever, pretty evenly split between the genders. They got all jacked up. Boys took it over and ruined it. God, is this guy dead already? So the only thing about the Berserker Chi strat is it takes forever. We got another boss we're gonna do this on too. glass door view of blizzard oh yeah i wouldn't trust i wouldn't trust um too much about what people post about uh blizzard it seems pretty toxic to me so i wouldn't really trust people saying good things even with like the changes that they have made now that supposedly should be better like i doubt it Maybe by the time the ad break ends, I'll have beaten this guy up. I wonder if it's possible to get up enough HP that you would survive the Megaton Press. Oh, I smell pizza. Y'all, our pizza's here. I'm gonna have some after we beat this guy up. Welcome back! My pizza's here. That means you gotta get dead, boss. Hell yeah, pizza, that's right. We got a few pizzas. It's for lunch slash dinner, basically for food today. And I, I'm pretty sure Jeff just walked in with them because I can smell them. Um, I'm gonna come get it. I'm just beating up this boss and then I'm gonna come get some pizza. Oh, okay. Pizza is totally here. Okay, where's the phoenix down? There it is.
Keep using gunk. That's the attack I want you to use. <clears throat> Not that one. Oh, wow. I didn't realize Yuna still had attacks to learn. The other thing I bought on Friday is some new Samsung earbuds. Nice. You know, I've gotten to where I can't handle, like, earbuds that go in my ear. All of mine are, like, this over-the-ear situation that I've got here. That's what I'm doing now. And something else that let me into the Elite. A Dyson. Nice. <laughs> I still use my Roomba. I'm really not caught up on what either consoles offer. Yeah. I don't do online gaming due to lack of time. Yeah. <gasps> Finally! He dead. Yay. We smushed that snail. He's not here. Who? Trema. Don't worry, we'll get there. Who's that? Trema is the founder of New Yevon. He kept all of the spheres from Spirus past to himself and then vanished without a trace. Who'd have thought he'd crawl down here? But... That was a year ago, so he's probably already... Dead? Maybe he was from the start. Dun dun dun. They say he was able to control the most powerful of fiends. Which is why I really think we should go home now. Oh, Riku. If only you knew. Alright. Let's walk back up and save. All right, let's do, let's go back to our trainers. And I guess I should put on my crystal bangles again. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and we are gonna take our break there. Okay, you guys, if y'all are watching on the recording on YouTube, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Uh, and of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.